Hello everyone, we're playing Resorting to Danger. Of course, this is a Nancy Drew hidden object game. Now, I've been meaning to play this one for a while now. Like, a long while. And people have been asking me to play this game. And I finally felt like I really wanted to do it. So, here we go. We're going to jump right in this. Of course, we're doing this live with all the beautiful people watching on YouTube and Twitch. Hello everyone. I gotta change my uh, character here. I'm gonna show you just briefly uh, some of the options. Fairly basic music, sound effects, character voices, sparkle sound effects. I have no idea what that's all about. Uh, when I do the full screen, it kind of makes it all weird on my screen. So I'm just gonna leave it as a four by three. And uh, that's that. Uh, this game was made in 2009. So it's an oldie bit of goodie. I have no idea what arcade mode is, but this is Nancy Drew, and I'm fully expecting it to be voiced by Nancy Drew herself. So, so other than that, there's really not much else going on here. Uh, actually, what is this? Oh, okay, I thought I could click there, but I cannot. Hi, Lacey. How are you? We're about to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new player. Uh, let's see here. I'll delete that one. And I'll make a new one, and it's gonna go to a cutscene. Alright, folks, are you ready? Set, go. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like an, an explosion. An explosion has arisen at the Redondo, a secluded resort where the rich and famous go to be beautified and indulged in total privacy. Someone there has been planting bombs, and although so far they've done relatively little harm, and the manager of the resort has fooled people into thinking they're just construction accidents, I've been charged with finding out what's really going on. When she heard where I was going, my good friend George Fane insisted I bring along her latest invention, a handheld bomb sniffing device. It's never been tested in the field, but it's designed to detect components commonly used in detonators, and she's almost positive it will work. I'm not crazy about the almost part, but it's got to be better than nothing, right? And as my other good friend Bess Marvin was quick to point out, the thing practically fits in my purse. So now that I'm pretty much prepared for anything, looks like I'm off to the Redondo. Welcome to the Redondo. You must be Nancy Drew. I'm Cassidy Jones. Mr. Blesky is waiting for you in there. You can go right in. On second thought, why don't you help me get organized around here? It'll help you get the hang of things. I can do that, sure. Wow! Look at all the voices we got here. We've got Lenny Manelli playing Nancy Drew, of course, back in 2009. And uh, I love the dude there with... He had like that purple going on there with purple shirt and all that. So, so here we are. Welcome to Redondo. This tutorial will show you, show what you as a detective will need to do to solve the case. In each area, you need to do two things. One, find the important objects. Oh, somebody's uh, sneezing. Two, click on pairs of objects to use them together in some way. To find important objects, move your cursor around the room until sparkles appear. Oh, okay. Hi! Welcome. We're doing Nancy Drew! This is Nancy Drew a Dossier Series. Okay, so we go ahead and click on the flowers. Now that the flowers are selected, you can pair them up with another item in the room. How about the empty vases? Okay. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. The vases were the correct match. Throughout the game, you'll continue to pair up items that can be used together. All you have to do is select both items in succession. These papers should be put away. Click them. Bless you. Notice the hint that appears above the papers. When you click them, 
The hint tells you to look for something, find that object to click on it. Ah. Uh, hmm. Oh, I see, it's a file folder. Boom! Great, see the small lens over the file folder? That means you're not alone, you're not done using the folder. Why don't you find out where the folder belongs and click it? Uh, oh, maybe put it away in its filing cabinet here. Vase or a vase? You tell me, fire child. <laughs> Jasmine, yes, wicked game is wicked. Yes, this file drawer makes sense, but first we need to pull the drawer open. Oh, so this is almost like a point-and-click adventure. Wow. Now that the drawer is open, you can pair up the drawer and the file folder. Click on the lens to select both items. This is very different. Now try moving your cursor over the object on the desk. Notice that the cursor changes. And click on it. The briefcase cursor indicated that the letter opener was an inventory item. As you can see, it's now in your inventory at the bottom of the screen. Why don't you figure out what should be paired up with the letter opener? Click on both items. Pause, vase. Hmm. I think we're gonna open up that letter right there. Boom! You have Orange Crush and Grape Powerade? Oh my goodness. That is delicious. I actually had, uh, earlier today, I had uh, Jolly Rancher Water. So good. Hey now, Sarah. Uh, I usually, I wouldn't say I skip the tutorials. I would say that I, <laughs> hmm, special features only, if that makes any sense. But yes, we are totally in the tutorial. It looks like a roster for the Redondo employees. Uh, this information could come in handy later when you're done viewing the close-up. Click on the white tab. All right, so who do we got here? We got Nicholas, Joanna, Todd, Helfton, Cassidy, Piper. Ooh, I like that name. Piper's such a good name. You want to try Jolly Rancher Vodka? That sounds really good, too. I actually had uh, Vietnamese for dinner tonight, and I had a avocado smoothie. That's right, I had an avocado smoothie. I'm a hipster now. Here we go. One more tip. See the number down there? That's how many hidden objects are available in the room. There are zero at the moment. When more objects become available, the number will flash yellow to alert you. Great job! You ready to continue playing on your own? Make sure to start off by finding the task list that Cassidy, the receptionist, has left for you. Boom! So look at this down here. We've got press. I like how the arrows all like squished. We've got pull. And we've got lift and shake. Hmm. <laughs> Shaken, not stirred. So I just grab myself whatever this is. You love strawberry tangerine shakes. Mmm. Wait, you want to try electric and bacon vodka? Wow. Tanya, you have a broken left foot? That's not good. General assistant task list. Restock shelves with product and remove the boxes. Dust the lights above the front desk. Don't use glass cleaner. Clean the harmonica display case. You'll need the glass cleaner. I have not seen the new Jurassic World. No, I have not. Mayhem! Hi, how are you doing? Alright, so this person is uh, all keyboardy here. So I gotta restock the shelves. Uh, nail polish. Hmm. So that has some fingerprints on it. So let me see now. We had to uh, use the glass cleaner on the harmonicas. There's something in that harmonica. Beautiful. 
You don't know anything about the Nancy Drew series? Well, have I got a treat for you. I've got about 30 games on the YouTube channel. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. You know what I was watching recently is uh, the new Godzilla movie and the King Kong movie. Uh, the ones that were done like, I don't know, 2014 or something like that. I was watching those. There's a vape. Website Bacon va Vodka. Wow. Alright, so what do we got up here? Shampoo! So we should put the shampoo up there. $59.99? <gasps> That's some serious shampoo. We are restocking the shelves like we belong here. Achoo! This light is dirty. That is much better. I like baby huskies. My big challenge with huskies is they get so big, don't they? Okay, so do we do everything? Dust the lights, restock the shelves, and clean the harmonica display? Hmm. I need to lift the glass. I need a screwdriver to open the harmonica. Oh, I see. So we gotta do some actions here. Let's do pull. Now you got a screwdriver. Kind of interesting the way they do this. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't think of a husky as a lap dog, no. Mm-hmm. You have a dog that's pregnant? Wow. Oh, I clicked on the wrong button here. Hang on. There we go. So what do I have? I've got... A number of items left to five. So let's have a peek. I wonder who this Hippocrates person is. Should someone other than myself find this, my name is Hippocrates. Bell, I have begun to renovate our family home and will store records of my modifications within each area I improve so I can easily track my projects. Wow, I'm having like work issues here because I am a project manager and whenever I see the word project, I just... Ugh. <laughs> It makes me think of work. Uh, so certain were my parents, doctors Adrian and Scarlata Bell, that they were greeting a future physician when I entered the world into the spring of 1883, that they converted our large, comfortable home into a sanitarium. They assumed that I would ultimately dedicate my life to health sciences as they had. Bless you. But much to their chagrin, I came to possess an aptitude for healing not people, but things. I revel in dismantling objects and from them creating that which is new and better. So strong is my passion for all things mechanical and architectural that rarely do I end one project before beginning two others. In that vein, my dear future Hippocrates, a reminder, do not forget the proje projects and the pillars of the house. That should do it. Okay, well, enjoy your dinner. Hello, Eden. Hello. So, this is Detective Ranking Screen. You'll be taken here at the end of every chapter. The more points you get, the higher your ranking will be. If you obtain the highest ranking, you'll get to view special credits. Ah, uh, yes. Post that uh, picture in Discord, and then I'll be able to see it. So... Cassidy, do you know who Hippocrates Bell is? Ah, he would be the original owner of this place. Of course, back then, the Redondo wasn't a spa, it was a private mansion. I hear he was a bit eccentric. A bit? I see. Well, I finished that list you had for me. Great job. Our boss awaits through that door. Exactly. We... No, forget it. Look, Princess Mia, those are our rates. 
If you think they're too high, then frankly, maybe you'd be happier slipping into a nice hot mud bath somewhere else. Hello? Thanks for wasting my time, tightwad. <laughs> Nancy Drew, good. You know why you're here, right? Of course. You want me to... Click on the right answer to keep the conversation going. You'll get more points if you choose correctly. General tip. To pause the conversation, just click on the menu button at the bottom of the screen. To skip to the next line of dialogue, 